Hi guys, welcome back to chapter 6.5 of the AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Uh, today we're doing special angles. Uh, this is a great A video. So yeah, let's start. So this chapter is all about angles and trigonometry as this whole um, chapter is about. Special angles are namely 30, 45 and 60 degree. And that is all you need to know at GCSE levels. And uh, when you get up to A level, you you uh, encounter zero degree and um, ninety degree. So those two are um, more specialized, and it's a bit difficult to explain that there are solutions. So yeah, let's not talk about that now. Just talk about these three. And it's highly likely that it's going to come up in a non-calculator exam because you have to know all those angles and it is used for finding exact values. So yeah, that is basically what this chapter is about. So here we have a chart of basically what it is all about, the special angle chart. And I forgot all these roots again, so bear with. Um, so you have to learn these by today. Are you thrilled? Bet not. It's a bit messy, is it? It's like sine 30 is half. Sine 1 over root 2 is f uh, 45. Uh, well, sine 45 degree is 1 over root 2 sine 60 is root 3 over 2, then the reverse is cosine, so these two are the same, these two are reverse. That is one possible way to remember it. And um, tangent is 1 over root 3, 1 and root 3, uh, sorry, uh, 1 over root 3, 1 and root 3. Okay, so yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. So obviously it is important for you to learn these angles and please now copy out the table and do it once, if not twice, if not three times, until you can finish every single grid. So you can pause the video now and proceed. Just kidding. Uh, if you did pause the video, and I am terribly sorry because you just did something stupid, there are way easier methods to remember this, and hopefully you did notice that tip, because this is my tip of remembering every single thing about uh, special angles. That is one really good trick. So first thing first, uh, sine and cosine. There will be a 2 um, for each. Doesn't matter where I put it for now, as long as it looks like the uh, space where the denominator is. So now we have, namely, well, a semi blank chart. So now fill in the top and for tangent everything. How? Well, that is a trick which is called the root count to 3 trick. Guess what? The first one will be root 1, which is 1. The second one is root 2, so it's, well, root 2. Then it's root 3. So let's, um, let me draw all these random lines. Yeah, so basically everything has a root where the top or bottom so um this is time consuming sorry if you're watching this uh, because i am sure you're bored to death okay so now i've got some third signs and we have root 1 over 2 root 2 over 2 root 3 over 2 now then Basically, you snake off this to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So this is 1. This is 2. 
this is 3, this is 1, then this is 2, then 3, then 1, then 2, then 3. Here we have it. Um, here we have it. The table. Um, like, seriously, this is how you do it. Like, no, no one else really care about the uh, other way, just that remembering it, it's just stupid way, do not follow that method, use this one, because you can count it out. But then, there comes a problem, let me demonstrate that. So, um, if you have pay, uh, paid a bit of notice, you will remember that sine 45 is not root 2 over 2, it's actually 1 over root 2. Uh, this I copied from the last um, chart, so I have it as a copy. Then, here it is root 3, not root 3 over root 1. What's the matter with me? And also, this is 1, not root 2 over root 2. So, am I mad? No, they are the same. They are absolutely the same. They don't have any difference at all. And I can demonstrate that pretty easily. So root 3 over root 1, which is root 3 over 1, because root 1 is 1, uh, if you do understand what I just said. Um, so basically anything divided by 1 is itself. So root 3 over 1 is root 3, which is correct. It is. Then root 2 over root 2, anything divided by itself is 1, so it is 1. And the root Remember, every root 1 is just 1, so this is a half, this is a half, this is 1 over root 3, everything matches. But this one, you simply can't find a solution to cover. So, now, what you have to do is to do some magic. This is called rationalizing. And if you do know how to rationalize a specific number, um, I forgot when did I do it, uh, which chapter it is, but I think you have done rationalizing. And that would be, well, if you rationalize this, which is multiplied by root 2 over root 2, you actually get root 2 over 2. So that is actually equal. So that is correct. So this method actually works. Snake through with root 1 to root 3, then repeat and rinse, basically snake through it, it's just that simple. So yeah, that's a tip that really a lot of people don't didn't notice, and yeah, it's really convenient and helpful. So I can't provide any kind of question for you, all you can do is to fill in the blank this time using the smart way instead of the stupid way. Now, take your time and yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you next time.